And then, it's, you know, no, you, you've this will segue. Well, well, you, I, I was going to say, this will probably segue on what Mike wants to get to, but you're talking about tapes for the kids. And I, I think that what you guys have, have slash had as judges was just such a, such a unique perspective and point of view that when you're in the line, you just never, you never heard it that way. Um, right. maybe the staff would make some recordings of a run through, but when you're in full uniform, you can hear like, especially if you're in a dome, the reverb off the dome or the stadium in the background, but it's like you in front of us and we can hear it. And you're not just like talking over every single thing that we do. Yeah. Like, I love those tapes so much. And, uh, yeah. I will miss them going forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Hopefully. Evan, Evan knew it. That's where I was yeah. going to go. I was going to, I was going to ask, you mentioned, you know, when you're trying to dodge the color guard, maybe I, I shouldn't critique that because I was trying to run for my life or whatever. Right. What's your, if, if you're okay getting into it, what, do, how do you feel about the judging changes? I guess uh, ha, being someone that's been involved for so long at this point, do you think it's been a net positive? Do you think there's pluses and minuses? Like what's your opinion on the judges no longer being up in the battery's face or out in the thick of things? Um, well, I'll just, I'll just start at 2019 since that's the year we just left off on. I uh -huh. think, uh, you know, a, a lot of the groups planned for that change, which was cool. You know, we, we didn't have to go out there and run around with them. You know, they were like, we're going to bring the drum line right up front to you and you can hear everything from there. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, I miss it. You know what I mean? I, I don't make the rules though. You know what I mean? Um, sure. And, uh, you know, uh, we work for the drum corps, and that's that's the way it is. And the mandate comes down from them, and we have to be able to deal with it that way and then adapt to whatever they whatever they say. <clears throat> it's different. Um, it, it's a lot different. Um, I think for me, though, is I love spending time in front of the pit, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, I think uh, – um, some of the things that front ensembles are doing are just amazing. Um, and mm -hmm. I think that's, a, you know, you don't see a lot of lot videos with front ensembles in them. You know what I mean? And I think that's probably something that should be, you know, a thing um, because those kids are, I mean, the techniques that they're displaying and just the virtuosity of, of things uh, is just like, wow, you know? Um, so for me, I'm okay with that because I, I write for, um, you know, not only just percussion sections, but I've been writing a lot of uh, full band stuff lately. And so I, I look at it as kind of getting an education up front there, too. You know, so like, oh, that mallet choice or that's a cool mallet choice or wow, they're using these sounds or whatever. So not only am you are you analyzing what they're doing, but, you know, you're also like learning from what they're doing. So I don't, I don't have a problem with it in terms of just being up in front and really learning what what all those great groups are doing um but yeah i mean there's always some small part of you that misses that um connection you know yeah, with that's a good uh, way to put the it guys in the back yeah and you know you you have um you know i always love the groups that are that are talking to you you know when you're out there with them and you know they're <laughs> like what's up you know and like um I, I won't name one group but you know like uh, i won't say who they are but it's like uh you know they're in, they're they're in between they're like third and fourth moving they're the closer and, and i'm getting ready to go walk back up to the front and they're don't go anywhere you know hang back here what's up mike d stick around <laughs> you know like all right cool you know like you don't you know <laughs> i mean like you don't get that you know um or you know i'll just say like on the end of the show you know at some point in time the drum line's got to go in the back and do the thing and really support the drum corps and stuff like that and, and big and 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 so yeah you miss that emotional connection um you know like man you know sometimes kids are out there crying and and kids are out there smiling and they're they're looking directly at you and it's like I'm giving it up. I'm giving everything I have for you right now. So, yeah, you miss that a little bit, you know, when they're not um, when you're not right in front of them. But one of my you know, favorite it's... moments um, from our '09 season is our finals tape mm -hmm. crown and that show. We started we started the drumline started the show behind the back sideline in the end zone. 
So we like, we were way back there. But JJ was back there with us, like just getting ready for us, like to start. But you can hear he turned his tape on a little early. When you can mm-hmm. hear just our section leader, uh, Sharif Reefer, just back there, just like yelling, and we're all yelling. He's like, "I, I love you guys!" And then like <laughs> it, it's like we're just like, "Whoa!" Just like yelling, and then like three seconds later, it's like one, two, three, thot, thot, and then we're off to the races. But mm-hmm. like those kind of moments and stuff. And then like like you're saying, like JJ being out there with us at the very end of the show, we were behind the core, but mm-hmm. we're just out there just ramming and just like going hard. Yeah. We play the last note and we're all screaming. The crowd's got yeah. a standing ovation. He's like yelling back at us, just like, good yeah. job, good yeah. job. Yeah. And like those, those are moments that like I can mentally revisit. I can close my eyes and listen to that tape and just like see it like it's like it was yesterday. So, yeah. And you guys will have those moments, you know, the, the newer kids, you know, unless they change some more rules, but the newer kids won't have that connection you know what i mean so you guys are lucky you know because you're able to and i'm sure you know like the staff's talking to you like he's gonna be out here at this point you know like we told him to be or we're gonna tell him to be out here at this time you know like and so you're already anticipating him being there with you you know what i mean and so it's just yeah those are great cool moments man I, you know again i can listen to my tapes and like just you can go back and listen to your tapes you know it's like yeah, I remember being in front of these guys at this particular point in time, and they're just yelling and screaming. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. So you do hype. miss that. Yeah, for it sure. is. It is a hype for both. You know, it's a hype. You know, like we, we, you know, we have our stories too. You know what I mean? Like we we go back and you know, especially like when you get back home after championships week, and you know, somebody, some kid is like. You know, so I saw you in front of blah, blah, blah. What'd you think, you know, about so-and-so? And you're like, oh, man, I was there at the end of the show, and they are just giving it up. And my other <clears throat> funny thing, and I think, you know, you Blue Coast guys were uh, kind of more responsible for this type of thing is um, the stuff that the crowd doesn't hear during count-offs. Yeah, you know? the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had uh, at 12, in 12... Or at, in twelve at Blue Coats, we had some pretty interesting vocals that nobody ever really, yeah, really heard. And see, I mean, I tell you what, there have been some times that I've been in front of groups, and you'll be in mid sentence, and this thing will come out, and you'll just be like, "Yeah, okay, blah blah blah." <laughs> 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 like, you know, it's like you just start laughing, man, because it's so funny. You know, like that is. Um, but that's 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 a part that is intimate, you know. Like, I heard that, you know. Like, Very few people will experience that exchange, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I always love those times. Um, there's one about Cavaliers. I'll have to tell you guys another time. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, funny stuff. Dude, that's awesome. I remember when we had vocals sometimes too, like we would have to like censor him like, all right, Vic, Vic first shoot today. Like we, we got to do like show B. We can't do the yeah. vocals from like the closer or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I love that. Yeah. So, fun times. 